So this information here is especially for you new drivers because I want you guys to be able to plan accordingly for your life, okay? Maybe you don't have your CDL yet or you just got it. Um, I want you to understand that at ABF, okay, as a city driver, forklift operator, you're not really going to be able, depending where you live, if you live in California or New York, Miami, you know, places like that, you're not really going to be able to compound and stack your money. It's going to basically keep you at the level that you're, that you're at. You're going to make a little, you're going to make more money than the average person. Yeah. But it's not really somewhere that you can stack, save and uh, capitalize. Okay. I'm being honest. As a road driver, you'll be able to stack your money. Um, you'll still kind of be hoping and wishing that you made more. We all do. That's a natural human tendency. But I hear a lot of drivers, especially you guys in the city, um, complaining about our hourly pay. But you have to remember, okay, when you're running a business, You just, you don't know what it's really like to run a business. You don't know what it's like to have to pay people. Remember, ABF is paying for our health benefits, right? And they're putting into our pensions. How much are they putting in our pensions? Almost nine bucks an hour, right? The current top rate of pay at ABF is $26.86 an hour. And the road drivers are getting a top pay. I think it's like 66 cents a mile, okay? Now, places like Estes, right? They're paying their guys, what, like 75 cents a mile? UPS is paying their guys um, like 96 cents a mile, I heard. Come here, boy. There's team drivers. And I remember I was talking to actually my, my nephew's dad and he drives team for UPS. He goes to Chicago and comes back to LA. He's gone for like four days or something like that. But basically, he's out four days and home for four days. And they're getting 96 cents a mile running his teams. That's good money, you know. And then the guys at UPS, obviously, hourly, they're getting way more than us. And they're also getting more put into their pensions. But better safe than sorry. Remember, everything has gone up. You have to allow business to catch up to the times as well. Right, I want ABF to remain rich so that they will continue to put into my pension and my health and welfare benefits. If they pay us too much, they risk things, okay? Now, I'm not saying that they can't pay us a few bucks more. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is the more that we complain and the more that we push for more money, um, there's a chance in the future we could lose our pensions. If we don't continue to make more Teamsters out here with ABF and UPS and all the other companies that are still, you know, the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, we are in danger of losing everything, okay? I don't want to lose my pension. I don't want to lose my free health care. You know, ABF puts two and a half grand a month, about two and a half grand a month in health and welfare benefits, man. When I got my stub um, after three months at ABF, it was something like like six grand already that they had put in a health and welfare benefits and five and a half grand toward my pension. Where else is gonna do that for you? Yeah, go ahead and go to a trucking company that's gonna pay you 45 bucks an hour, but it's all straight time, bro. I'm telling you, I, I want you guys to understand how good you really have it here. And if you are ever given the choice to get paid $45 an hour and lose the pension, you're nuts, you're nuts. If that's the case and you're trying to get somewhere, becoming a city driver or forklift operator isn't going to do it for you you're, because you're not gonna be able to stack the money that you need. As a road driver, you will, or working for UPS, you will, and be home every day. But don't expect to be able to capitalize significantly okay if that's the case and you're after that money go to other companies like some over-the-road companies or fuel hauling companies you know they, they all not all when it comes to over-the-road companies 
they don't all pay good. So you gotta be careful. But like, for example, if you go and you haul fuel, you put in your time at a starter company, give them a year, give them six months, go and haul fuel. You'll stack your money there. You will stack your money there. And then after you give them the time that fits you to be able to stack your money and get your house together and get the vehicles that you need for your family and all that stuff. Then, and you, and you wanna be home every day, ABF, forklift operator, city driver. Uh, you'll be able to possibly maintain those things, okay? Especially if you're not living in California, a lot easier to maintain. Um, those things that you've acquired, the home, the car, things like that. I just, I like the fact that ABF is planning my retirement for me. And you know, I, I have a plan B and I have a plan C. So I'm not worried about that. People say, what if you lose your pension? Yeah, well, so what? I have my CDL. I have hazmat tanker doubles and triples. I can go and I can haul fuel. Big deal, I lose my pension. After five years, I become vested. So no matter what, if you quote unquote lose your pension, you only completely lose it if you're not vested. Vesting time is five years. Um, our pay is going to go up. That's for sure. I don't think it's gonna be 30 or 31 or 32 or anything like that. I think somewhere in the ballpark of 20 and 29, which is good. Uh, the mileage rate, maybe we'll get 70 cents a mile. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I've, I've heard some things too, but I don't know. Don't take my word for it. But see that, that's better. That's more manageable. That's more profitable for us. Because remember, ABF is putting so much, you know how much healthcare costs, man? Come on, for you and your family. If you have family, you need to have the healthcare. And you need to be able to, at the end of your career, to just relax. You don't know how you're gonna feel later. Right now, you know, you've got a lot of energy. I'm 34 years old, I got a lot of energy. I can go by my truck and I can go and go, 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 go. But a lot of the things that I'm seeing with these owner operators is they're coming to places like ABF and UPS because they would like to have that pension. And if these guys are already older men, and they're thinking like that. Well, it has me saying, well, let me start now. And I'm capitalizing as much as I can. I'm recruiting, I'm trying to get the, the truth out to you guys on how good this brotherhood is. Um, and that's the best that I can do for you. You know, in the end, you're gonna have to make whatever decision is best for yourself. Like I said, if you wanna stack money and be home every day, go haul fuel. You'll make a lot of good money doing that. My friend Ruben's doing that right now. He's making great money, supporting his family. And uh, so shout out to you, buddy. Good job. He started at night a few weeks later than I. And, uh, you know, we talk about fuel hauling from time to time. Um, but I'm happy where I'm at. Yeah, sometimes I'm gone for like four days, right? But I'm not gone the way I was before, weeks at a time. But at ABF... If you are gone, safe, you're gone for two. Like the guys that are at the top of the board that have seniority, dude, they're gone. And they are stacking, getting paid around the clock for sleeping in the hotel. They're stacking, stacking. Um, you can stack really good money at Estes and Old Dominion. Great companies too. FedEx, if you work directly for FedEx, not contracted 1099, any of that crap. See, I don't like having to figure out all my taxes for myself, no. That's, uh, that's risky. I would rather not do that. But hey, to each their own. I've just, I, I've seen with my own eyes, people that do that, they end up, they encounter some problems. They encounter some issues. Um, pay discrepancies, IRS problems. It's just, and sometimes they think that they're doing things right. So I, I would just, nah, not for me, man. Not for me. So planning for the future, man. It is everything when you get in a trucking. It's for whatever you get into in life. But understand that if you come to ABF, forklift, city driver, okay, that you're, you're not really gonna stack money. You're gonna be able to stay consistent, okay, and uh, have money in your account, yeah. But to watch the money grow, not really, you know. 
you have seniority and you get all this overtime, yeah, there's potential for it, but you have to gain the seniority. At least as a bottom guy on the road, you'll still be able to stack the money, especially if you live outside of California, you know, or all these other, these other cities that charge an arm in the lake for rent. So that's what I suggest to you, man. Go somewhere that you can stack your money and then if you wanna be home every day, ABF is the place and UPS is the place. Just don't go to city driver forklift position and think that um, your whole entire situation in life is gonna change. It'll change as far as if you were over the road, you'll be home all the time, right? But it's not, you're not gonna see a financial, a huge financial gain. Road driver, yeah, you will. You will, you will advance and you'll be gaining your pension at the same time. You'll be getting your free health care. You'll be set and you'll be happy. Uh, we all want more in life, I know, but guys understand you gotta try and stop complaining about your situation with the pay, especially if you're in, the, like I get it, dude, I was there. And I bit my tongue every day from complaining about the pay because I knew it was my fault. It was my own fault that I didn't do the research. Um, I didn't know about road driver position. I didn't, otherwise I would have taken it. I had, I had no idea. I didn't. And that's, that's my bad. So it is what it is, but I've been on here the whole time. And thank God I've been able to help you guys get hired, which in turn has made income for myself. So where I lacked with some of the, uh, some of the knowledge on where to go to make money, I made up in the back end with this, you know, getting paid from YouTube and getting paid for recruiting you guys. And no, there are so many guys that, that uh, I've recruited through this channel that I haven't gotten credit for. That's not the point. The point is that you guys get the truth about what this is. We're in the industry to make money. I wouldn't take a chance as an owner operator, especially now, I just wouldn't. Um, everything's expensive and if you were, are an already established business, right, from before all this crap, it's doable, you can make it, okay? But at this point in time right now, I'm definitely good where I'm at. <laughs> so with all of that said, I hope that this information that I've given you will help you make a good decision for yourself. Understand, as a road driver, you will stack money as a city driver forklift operator, do the math on your expenses and expect to make something like four grand a month bring home. Mm, yeah. And that's, that's with some overtime, okay? Four grand a month bring home. As a road driver, you're talking, uh, guys, in, in a month, I've made, I've made 12 grand gross, okay? I've made almost 13 grand gross. So with that said, make a good decision for yourself. Um, I don't really know what else more to tell you guys other than stop complaining. If you don't like what you're doing and where you're at, we don't need it. You know, we don't need the negativity and uh, you need to go somewhere that you're going to be happy because I don't know for myself as a man, I have to have a home. That's what I'm working towards right now. It's buying a home. So that's what I need to be happy because if I'm not supplying my family with things, I'm not happy. I'm a man, that's the way I am. It's probably the way you are too. Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the red pill and survival. Take care and stay safe. All you truck drivers out there, new and veteran, all you teamsters, see you on the road.